This open source AI is a cloud code killer. So the CTO of Hugging Face dropped this on LinkedIn and the AI world kind of lost its mind. The claim? That open code paired with ZAI's GLM 4.6 model is basically an open source cloud code. Big words. So today, no fluff, no BS. We're going to set it up from scratch, run into inevitable errors, fix them, and see if this thing can actually code. So the engine we're plugging in today is GLM 4.6 from ZAI, which is the model everyone's hyped about for its supposed cloud code level coding skills. I'm on a Mac, but this works on Windows and Linux too. It's a simple NPM install. Now, here's the key part. GLM isn't built in, you need an API key. I snagged their coding plan for about 36 bucks a year, which is insane value if this works. To connect it, we run open code auth login. And look at this list. You can hook up almost anything. We'll find the ZAI coding plan. So Select it, grab the API key from the ZAI dashboard, paste it in, and boom. Then we're connected. Let's fire up open code again. First, we need to select our model. We'll type slash models, and because we're authenticated, all the GLM models are now available. Let's pick GLM 4.6. Now for the real test. I'm going to ask it to write the most minimal agentic AI loop using Python and OpenAI with tool calling capabilities. Let's see what it comes back with. And there it is, the self-signed certificate error. If you're running into this on a private network or a custom setup, you'll probably hit this too. This is exactly the kind of roadblock that makes people give up. But the fix is actually super simple. Don't panic. This is a known open code issue. It's basically a network security hiccup. The fix is to tell our system to be a little less strict when it's checking the security certificate for this one task. We'll just exit, and in our terminal, run this command. Export node TLS reject unauthorized equals zero. A quick warning, only do this when you trust the endpoint, which in this case, we do. Now try running open code again. Okay. Back in open code, the model is still set to GLM 4.6. Let's send the exact same prompt. And we're off. Now full transparency. This part wasn't instant. It took about three minutes to generate the full response. So I sped this subsection up massively for you. Drop the most complex coding task you can think of in the comments below and I might test it in the next video. If you found this helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more no BS AI reviews. And here's the output. It didn't just dump code, it created a whole project structure. We've got agent.py, requirements.txt, and even readme.md with usage instructions. Let's quickly look at the agent code. Yeah, this looks solid. It's got the open AI dependency, the tool definitions for weather and calculator, and the main agent loop. This is a complete working starting point. This is impressive. So, is it a cloud code killer? For 36 bucks a year and the convenience of running right in your terminal, it's seriously compelling. The speed is a bit of a drawback right now, but the quality of the code is definitely there. What do you think? Is this the future or just another tool in the box?